Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do the get to know me tag because why not? So I just went onto the internet and I just grabbed a few random questions out of like the get to know me tag questions. I tried not to choose boring ones because let's be honest, no one cares what my favorite color is and what my shoe size is. So I tried to get some somewhat interesting questions for you guys. So I'm just gonna answer some of these questions so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. First question, pretty standard, where are you from? I am from Wollongong, Sydney, Australia. Is that how I'd say it? I guess so. How old am I? I am 21. What is my biggest fear? I have a couple. Probably spiders and vomiting would have to be my biggest fears. I know vomiting is a weird one, but I literally have phobia. I am so terrified of vomiting. I hate it. It's the worst thing in the world. I wish I wasn't scared of it, but yeah. And spiders can't stand spiders. What is my biggest regret? To be honest, I don't have a regret really because anything that I could go back and change like mistakes that I've made and things like that if I didn't go through those things I wouldn't be the person that I am now and I wouldn't have like learned things from it and yeah there's always a positive to a negative anyway so I don't regret anything I don't think it's really good to regret things in life what inspires me I guess I get inspired in all sorts of different ways, um, but the main thing that inspires me is just to live a happy, healthy life, I guess, if that makes any sense. Like, anything that I'm doing in my life is because it makes me happy, so that's why I do it. So my inspiration is just, like, my end goal is to be happy, so does that really make sense? Not really. Like, you're more so meant to say, like, a person that inspires you or something. No, I'd say just like to be really happy and like successful, that's what inspires me. Just seeing successful and positive people around me and like they're the people that inspire me, people that have reached their goals and try really hard to, yeah, accomplish things in their life and just a really happy, positive people, I guess they're the people that inspire me. What is the most important thing in my life? I'd say, I'd say my relationships with people, like just anyone in my life, like they're the most important people to me because I'm someone that loves to be around people. I don't really like being on my own. I can be on my own, but I just really like being around people that I love and care about. So I'd say definitely my relationships with like my family, my boyfriend, my boyfriend's family, my friends, they're the most important things in my life. What is my favorite time of the day? I'd have to say nighttime. Like I love the day, but at nighttime, I just, I don't know, I just love nighttime. I love getting into bed and like just watching YouTube or, I don't know, that sounds really like boring. But besides like nighttime, I'd probably say like late afternoon, the sun's setting, like going for a picnic or a walk. Yeah, I like that time of day. I'm definitely not a morning person, so any time of day that I like is like further along in the day. Least favorite subject in high school, maths. I hated maths so much. I hated, 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 hated maths and science, hated science too. Had no idea what I was doing. Am I high maintenance? No, I'd say no. In ways, but no. Someone that like, I love dressing up, I love to feel nice, I like nice things, but I also can like look like a boy and not care about my appearance at all. I've like those two different sides of me. So I don't think I'm high, high maintenance, not really. Am I a dog person or a cat person? Definitely a cat person. I love cats so much, but I do want to get a Pomeranian one day. They're cute. I like little fluffy. I like little fluffy animals. As long as they're fluffy, I will love them. Am I a good cook? I'd like to think so. I mean, like I can follow any recipe and anything that I cook tastes all right. So yeah, I enjoy cooking. I do like cooking. Do I have any tattoos? No. And I don't think I'll ever get one, to be honest. I just, I've never felt need to have a tattoo. If anything, I more so would get like piercings over tattoos. I just don't really think about getting a tattoo and I know that I would get sick of it because I really easily get sick of things. I know that I would definitely get sick 
of a tattoo if I had one. So never gonna get one. I like my bare skin. Don't want one. Do I have any pets? Yes, I do. I have two cats and they're both little Persians and they're so cute. I love them. How many brothers and sisters do I have? I have zero brothers and I have one younger sister. Do I believe in love at first sight? No. I don't believe in love at first sight. Like I don't believe in falling in love with someone just off their physical appearance and not getting to know them. I definitely would have to get to know the person to fall in love with them. And I feel like that's anyone in the world. And if you do fall in love with someone just by like looking at what they look like, yeah, no, not too sure about that. Love at first meeting, maybe? Like you could like see them, sit down and have a chat or whatever and be like, holy shit, like I feel like I'm already falling in love with this person. Maybe, but not first sight. My most embarrassing moment. Oh, okay. I feel like I have quite a lot of embarrassing moments, but probably the one that I was the most embarrassed about was I was in year four at school. So I wasn't even that young. And I went to my friend's house and I used to have this thing when I was younger that I just couldn't go to the toilet at my friend's house. Like I hated it. I'd get really nervous. So I was at this friend's house and I didn't go to the toilet and I really, really needed to pee. <laughs> and we went to the news agency to get some like poster paper because we we're making a poster or something. And I was just busting to go to the toilet. Like I felt like I was gonna die. Like I just needed to go so badly. And I was telling my friend like, like I really, really need to go to the bathroom. And she was like, it's okay, we'll go home soon. And we're just standing in the line and it just started coming out of me. Like going down my leg, all over the floor. I was so, I was so embarrassed. I was just standing there like crying. And the man at the counter, I remember he was like to me, stop, stop. And I was like, I can't stop. It's just like coming out. There's nothing I can do. That was definitely the most embarrassing time. I've never had anything like that before. Like that was just, I don't know how I couldn't control my bladder that much. Like it literally was just like, all over the floor, like a puddle. And he had to go and get a towel and clean it up and oh God, that was a bad day. That was a bad day. What is my star sign? I am Aquarius. I don't think I'm too much like my star sign. There's a lot of things that it says about my star sign that I'm definitely don't relate with, but yeah, I'm an Aquarius. What is something I look for in a partner? Definitely all personality traits, really, and their morals and their respect and things like that, just if they're a good person. That's the main thing. Um, that's what I look for in a partner, being a good person and being kind and generous and respectful and loyal and, you know, all those things. How many countries have I been to? It's really sad, only one. I've only been to Bali and I've been there like so many times. But every time I book a holiday, I just love it there so much that I just don't think about going anywhere else. Definitely next year I wanna go somewhere else. I wanna go to New Zealand or something. I need to do something different. <laughs> when did I start wearing makeup? I was in year six when I started first started wearing makeup. So I would've been 10, 11, like that's young. And I just remember I put my mom's concealer like all over my face. I think I must have had like a bit of, I think I had like pimples on my forehead when I was that young. And I would just put concealer all over me. And since day one of high school, I bought a full face the whole time of high school. I never was seen with my makeup off my face. I always had makeup on and I get told off for it quite a bit, but I loved my makeup and yeah, I wore it every single day. Do I have a hidden talent? No. <laughs> no, 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 I don't. What's my biggest pet peeve? So something that really annoys me. Pet peeve in like general? There's a lot of things, I don't know. People being really like obnoxious and rude, things like that, like obviously that's really annoying. Um, little things like people not being tidy, that annoys me. 
like anything dirty related. Like I just like things clean, but I can't really think of like one that's like really stands out to me as like my most hated pet peeve. If I could only drink one drink for the rest of my life, what would it be? It'd have to be water because any other drink I'd get sick of and you always need water. But my favorite drink, I just love, my favorite drink is when I'm at the movies and I get like a Coke with ice. I just, mm, so refreshing. That's my favorite. Coke with ice, like from Macca's, like Coke with ice. I know that's unhealthy, but I just, I love, I love it. I love it. Sorry, I love it. If I could live anywhere in the world, where would I live? This is a very good question. I know that I don't want to live in Wollongong for the rest of my life, but then it's also really hard to think of another place that you'd call home because I haven't been to that many places that I've thought, oh yeah, I could like call this home. So it's hard. To be honest, probably like my ideal thing would, my ideal place to live would just be around everywhere. Like I would love to get a van, like a big like bus and like build it into a house and just travel like all around America, all around Australia, all around Europe. Like that would just be, that would be amazing. But then obviously then again, you'd get to the point where like you just want to settle down in the house in just one area and just, you know, live your life. But I don't know. I do like Queensland as well. I've always thought I could move to Queensland, but yeah, we'll see. I'm not too sure. This is a bit of a weird question. Last romantic gesture from a crush, date, boyfriend or girlfriend. Well, last romantic gesture. Well, obviously it's with Julian, but well, I guess like this morning when he got up, gave me a cuddle and a kiss before he went to work. He's like, hi. I feel so bad for him like every morning. <laughs> he has to get up at like seven to go to work. And I just like keep sleeping in. It frustrates him so much. He's like, I hey, hate every morning I get up for work and you can just stay in bed all day. I'm like, not my fault. But yeah, I guess that's the last romantic gesture. A little kiss and cuddle from my boyfriend before he goes to work. One thing I am proud of, and this can be the last question because I feel like I've answered quite a lot. One thing I'm proud of. I guess I'm just proud of myself as a person in general. Just the way that I handle things. I really like how... I stay composed in certain situations. I'm a very down to earth, grounded person and I'm very grateful for that quality of me and I'm proud of who I am as a person basically and like any hardship that I've gone through in my life, I feel like I've handled it quite well and I'm just proud of myself for getting through those hard times and being a good person, I guess. That's the thing that I'm most proud of. I don't have like, successes in my life just yet that I'm like really really proud of um so yeah me as a person and my traits and things like that I guess would be the things that I'm most proud of yeah so I have answered all the get to know me questions that I thought were somewhat interesting there's honestly like not that many I had to go through quite a lot of them to find all right ones but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to know me a little bit better and I will see you all next time in my next video and again please let me know down in the comments what sort of videos you would like to see next and also if you could like and subscribe this video it would really help out my channel a lot because we are trying to grow and yeah I really really appreciate it so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!